Hello everyone. Today we'll be going through IGCSC Cambridge Mathematics Paper 4 Extended 058041 October number 2021. Question number 1A part. Diagram is provided which is not to scale. The diagram shows a brick in the shape of a cuboid. Part 1. Calculate the total surface area of the brick. So dimensions are provided. We have to find the surface area. Surface area we can check for different sides. This side will be surface area of this side, and the opposite side will be 19.4 multiplied by 9.2, and this will be multiplied by 2 because opposite side we are also considering, and the second uh, side will be this one and the opposite side. So, dimensions of these also we can write it will be 2 into. 9.2 into 5.7 and this will be our two sides the third side will be top and top will be this one and bottom and top and bottom we can write 2 into 19.4 into 9.2 uh, 9.2 basically 19 point first will be 19.4 into this is basically um, first we will take 5.7 this will be this dimension and the opposite side and the top will be 19.4 multiplied by 9.2 so these dimensions we will multiply and then add so calculators so 2 into 19.4 multiply by 5.7 and this will be resulting to uh, 221.16 221.16 and the second value will be 2 into 9.2 multiply by 5.7 and this is resulting to 104.88 104.88 and the third value is 2 in brackets 19.4 multiply by 9.2 and this is resulting to uh, 356.96 356.96 so now we have to add all these numbers and if we add 221.16 plus 104.88 plus 356.96 this is adding up to 683 and it will be centimeter scales because units are all in centimeters so it will be 683 centimeter scale this is three mark question which we are done now second part Second part says the density of the brick is 1.9 grams per centimeter cube. Work out the mass of the brick. Give your answer in kilograms. Density is equal to mass divided by volume which is provided. So density we can write mass over volume and mass will be equal to density mul multiplied by volume. So density is 1.9 and multiply by volume volume we are multiplying length into width into height so three dimensions we will be writing 19.4 multiply by 9.2 and the third dimension is 5.7 so we can write 5.7 and this will be will get answer and this is multiplied by 19.4 multiplied by 9.2 and multiplied by 5.7 it's resulting to 1932 1932.94 we can write 0.94 
and this is grams but we require in kilograms so we will divide 1932.94 will be divided by 1000 to get kilograms decimal will be shifting over here and answer will be 1.93 kilograms up to 2 dp so 1.93 kilograms will be our answer for this part now b part 9000 bricks are needed to build a house 200 bricks cost this much work for the cost of bricks needed to build five houses now 9000 bricks are required for one house and we want to build five houses so it will be multiplied by five and um, build a house 9000 bricks are required needed to build a house 200 bricks so 200 are costing 175 so we'll set how many 200s are there in it and then we will multiply by 175 dollars to get the value and this will be resulting to uh, 9000 multiplied by 5 divided by 200 and this will be multiplied by 175 and this is equal to 39375 39375 this many dollars will be required this is three more question which is done now uh, c part c part says sestia builds a wall using 1500 bricks and she ha can build at the rate of 40 bricks each hour she works for nine hours sestia um, starts work on 6th july and works every day until the wall is completed find the date when she completes the wall so we require um, how many hours will be required like for example this one 1500 bricks 1500 bricks need to be uh, used for the building so it in one hour 40 bricks so we'll calculate how many hours uh, will be spent so 1500 divided by 40 will get um, 37.5 hours 37.5 hours will be 37.5 years so 37.5 hours are required now starting date is july 6th so we will start from 6th july and we will check um it how many hours will be like uh, nine hours each day so nine hours on 6th july then 7th july will come and 7th july further 9 hours 9 plus 9 is 18 then 8th july 8th july will also be in 9 hours so 9 3 is 27 we we have to cover 37.5 so then comes 9th july and 9th july will also be 9 hours so 9 4 is 36 so she has to work on 10th july also and 10th july will be nine hours again so one two three four five forty five so this will be within that one so 10th july also she has to work and find the date when she completes this. so date will be 10th july we can write here 10th july will be the completion date this is how we can uh, check this is three mark question which are done now rafa has a cylindrical tank the cylinder cylinder has a height of 105 centimeter and a diameter of 45 centimeter calculate the capacity of the tank in liters so if we if we draw a small basically cylinder 
and try to understand so small cylinder we can draw like this one this is like for the small cylinder and if we Oh, this cylinder is uh, having height of 105 centimeters 105 centimeters is the height and diameter is 45 and diameter is 45 so we can show this is the diameter and how we are uh, taking the volume of uh, volume of a cylinder will be equal to pi r square into h and radius will be half of 45 so we can write pi into 45 by 2 squared into h will be 105 and this one we can calculate pi into 45 over 2 and this will be squared and multiply by 105, 105 and this is resulting to decimals 166995 and decimal 2845 2845 this will be our calculator numbers but they are saying tank in liters capacity is required in liters so this is basically centimeter cube and centimeter cube you know one centimeter cube is equal to one ml so we will divide it by 1000 to get liters so 16699.2845 will be divided by 1000 then this will be liters and final answer will be 166.995 and we can round it to 167 liters this will be our final answer for this question now question number two question two says bob chow and my um, take part in a run for charity a part their uh, times to complete the run are in ratio of this one so find Chow's time as a percentage of my time. Chow's time is this middle one as a percentage of mouse. So this one 5 over 7. So 5 over 7 into 100. This will be the in terms of percentage. And we can write 5 over 7 multiply by 100. And this is resulting to. Uh, 71.43 71.43% which we can divide over here 71.43% this is done now second part Bob's time for the run is 55 minutes and 40 seconds find my time uh, for the run give your answer in minutes and seconds so, uh, so uh, Bob's time for the run is this much so we can write this from the this uh, ratio we can take this will be Bob's time will be 4 out of uh, 16 sum of ratios is 16 so 4 out of 16 we can write 4 out of 16 of x is equal to 55 minutes and 40 seconds now we can uh, simplify this will be 4 ones are 4 and 4 fours are 16 and this 4 we can shift to the other side and it will be x will be equal to 4 into 55 minutes and 40 seconds now we can uh, basically we can write over here so 
x will be multiplied, 4 will be multiplied by, in brackets will be 55 and I'm using the time button. So first I will use 4 into 0 hours and 55 minutes and 40 seconds. So this is the time button which we can use and we can write this will be 3 hours 42 minutes and 40 seconds. So x will be equal to 3 hours 40 minutes 42 minutes 42 minutes and 40 seconds 42 minutes and 40 seconds. This is after multiplication with 4. Now we can basically check this is the time total time we have calculated for all. Now we will be checking for uh, 7 by 16 of this 7 by 16 will be for my and that will be 7 by 6 of this total time which is uh, 3 hours 3 hours 42 minutes and 40 seconds and this will be equal to uh, this time and multiply it by 7 by 16 and this is equal to 1 hour 37 minute and 28 seconds 1 hour 37 minute and 25 seconds and they are asking for minute and second they don't require hour so hours will be having one hour will be having 60 minutes which we will add in this 37 and we will get 97 minutes and 25 seconds hopefully you understood this this is the easiest way which we have adopted to solve this three marks question now uh, b part Chow collects this much dollars for charity and Bob collects 28% more than Chow. So basically we need to collect, we need to calculate 28% uh, uh, more than this amount. So we will be writing 100 plus 28 because we need 28% um, more so 100 plus 28 if it is less then it will be 100 minus 28 so this one divided by 100 and off which values 47.50 and this will be resulting to our answer which is uh, 128 over this will be 100 and will be multiplied by 47.50 and this will be sixty point eight dollars, sixty point eight, and sixty point eight. Answer at the proper place with marks two. Now, second part show collect sixty percent less than my find the find uh, how much more money my collects than show. So we will check for the sixty percent less. Uh, less than my so we will calculate 60 percent of um, value is 47.5 47.5 so 60 percent of this we will calculate and this is what x will be equal to uh, 45.5 no, 47.50 divided by um, this will be basically what we can do uh, in 40 per 60 percent less so we'll take 40 percent so it will be divided by 40 into 100 and this will be equal to 47.5 over 40 and multiply by 100 and this is resulting 218.118.75 and uh, this will be in terms of dollars and we can subtract 118.75 minus 47.50 
this much we, we will reduce from this 47.50 and we will get answer as 71.25 which will be our answer 71.25 hopefully you are getting everything now next is when running chow has a stride stride length of um, 70 centimeter correct to the nearest 5 centimeters so uh, 70 centimeter is lower bound and upper bound we can find upper bound and lower bound upper bound will be uh, so we'll be adding and subtracting half of 5 which is 2.5 so this will be giving us the upper bound and lower bound and this will be 72.5 and this will be 67.5 centimeters basically and then we are checking for uh, the next line so runs a distance of 11.2 kilometer correct to the nearest 0 0.1 kilometer so 11.12 11.2 basically 11.2 kilometers and upper bound and lower bound we can check upper bound and lower bound nearest to 0 0.1 so plus minus 0 0.05 we will be adding and subtracting uh, or what else we can do we can uh, change in two centimeters because this is also a measurement uh, in kilometers so we will switch this into uh, centimeters if we change 11.2 kilometers into centimeters we'll have to multiply 11.2 by 1000 and then multiply by 100 to get uh, in centimeters so it will be 11 uh, to 1 zero is gone so four zeros one two three four zeros this will be in centimeters so we can write here 11 to four zero plus we will be adding how much we will be adding half of 0 0.5 uh, 0 0.05 kilometers we will have to add and subtract for lower and upper bound and this will be equal to 0 0.05 multiplied by 1000 and multiplied by 100 and this will be resulting to 5000 and two zeros are gone so 5000 so this will be added and subtracted so if we add this and sub this so this will be our lower bound and upper bound which we have calculated I'll be reducing this working to a smaller size to save the space and this one also I will reduce a little like this one to the readable size and now we need to calculate what they are saying work out the minimum number of strides that show could take to complete this distance so minimum number minimum number will be we will be taking lower bound for a minimum number what we will be taking we will be taking lower bound and we will be dividing lower bound of uh, and dividing it by upper bound so lower bound of this one we will take and this will be one one two four zeros minus five thousand and divided by upper bound of this one which is seventy two point five and this will give us the minimum stride so it will be um, correction one one two one two three four zeros minus five thousand and this will be divided by seventy two point five and this is giving us one five three seven nine one five three seven nine and point 
three so we can round it to one five three eight zero and this was a four mark question which we are done hopefully you understood this now depart in 2015 a charity raised a total of 1.6 million after 2015 this amount increased exponentially by 2.4 percent each year for the next five years work out the amount raised by the charity in 2020 the amount is equal to principal amount into one plus rate over 100 raised to the party this is the uh, formula which we are using for the compound interest or exponential increase and we will be replacing values a is equal to principal amount is uh, 1.6 million so 1.6 million into 1 plus rate is 2.4 so 2.4 over 100 and the number of years 5 years so it will be 5 and this will give us 1.6 into 1 plus 2.4 over 100 this one and raise to the power 5 this gives us 1.80 so 1.8 million basically so 1.8 million dollars will be answer and this was to my question Question number three, the cumulative frequency diagram shows information about the mass m kilogram of each of 80 boys. This side is cumulative frequency, this side is mass in kilograms. They have provided us this grid. Then A part, uh, on the grid draw the box and whisker plot to show the information in the cumulative frequency diagram. And this is four mark question. We have to show the cumulative frequency diagram uh, on this box and whisker shape. So it will be the minimum value we will be taking, which is basically 30. This minimum is 30. So uh, we will draw, like for example, this one. This will be the minimum value which we have shown as 30. Then the maximum value is reaching to. Uh, 90 so maximum value we can show like this one so this will be the maximum and minimum which we have shown now we can check for the median median will be the reference to 40 will be the medium median and we can check for the median this 40 will be this one we can check this is 63 so we can take the reference of 63 and draw line this line is showing 63 I am showing the reference also from here and this is the median no, lower quartile and upper quartile is required for lower quartile we can check this 25th percentile and 25th percentile will be what uh, 25th percentile will be 25 percent of 80 will be 1 this will be 4 and this will be 20 so we'll be checking the 20 reference and this 20 reference is at 50 so lower quartile is at 50 we can uh, write here lower quartile is 50 and the upper quartile will be at 60 so we can check the reference from 60 and 60 will be upper quartile this is lower quartile so from here if we check the difference this one this is basically 72 is uh, is the upper quartile so 72 hopefully you are understanding each and everything box and whisker plot is very easy if you understand the concept and this one we can draw this and 
this will be our box and whisker we can uh, draw like this one and this one so these two will be the whiskers and this is basically box and whisker plot which we have done now they are saying use the cumulative frequency diagram to find an estimate of 30th percentile 30th percentile is the target and 30th percentile will be what 30th percentile of 80 will be 0 will be cancelled with 0 0 will be cancelled so 3 8 will be 24 we will have to check the reference from 24 so reference from 24 will be what? so 22 and 24 will be this reference and uh, this value will be over here and it is basically giving us 56 this is 56 so we can write here answer as 56 we have taken uh, value from the graph so the number of days this with a mass number of boys sorry the number of boys with a mass greater than 75 kg so greater than 75 kg uh, 70 greater than 75 kg reference we will be taking so 72 3 4 5 75 will be this reference and we can check this up to the graph and now we can check this will be over here this will is a 62 value is 62 so not 62 this will be 64 because it small box is 2 so it will be 64 so we can write 80 minus 80 minus 64 will be the the value which is above this so we can shade this portion is basically required so 80 minus 64 hopefully you are understanding everything so this will be 80 minus 64 is 16 so our answer will be 16 for two marks now um, c part says the cumulative frequency diagram to complete this basically we have to complete the cumulative frequency table this table we need to provide two values 50 to 60 is uh, how many people are 50 to 60 50 to 60 are uh, from 60 uh, 24 to 40 will be 40 minus uh, 24 will be 16 basically that will be 14 so this will be 14 and 60 to 70 are from 60 to 70 if we check the reference 60 is from here so 60 70 this is like uh, um, 34 this is 34 and if we check 70 reference 70 reference is this one and this is coming to this value which is like 58 so 58 minus uh, uh, 30 basically 30 not 34 this is 36 so 36 and this will be equal to 22 we can write 22 over here this will be 22 now this is completed this is one mark question which we are done now b second part calculate an estimate for the mean mass of the boys so for mean mass we will be checking the mid range of these this class width mid of this class width we will be checking and mid of this is uh, 35 and this will be 45 and this will be 55 
this one is 65 and this is uh, 75 then this will be 85 now we will be multiplying this with 8 and uh, writing our formula will be what formula will be for the mean sigma fx sigma fx over sigma x f uh, this will be the formula for the mean and we will be applying this formula and we can write 35 into 8 plus 45 into 12 plus 55 into 14 plus 65 into 22 plus this will be 75 into 14 and the last one is 85 into 10 and this will be whole divided by the frequency which is total which is 8 and this will be our mean value so mean is equal to this one now we can simplify this so 35 into 8 we can do in one go or we can write separately to avoid any mistakes so 540 plus this will be 55 multiply by 14 will be equal to 770 plus this will be 65 multiply by 22 will give us 1430 and plus 75 into 14 is 1050 and plus 85 into 10 will be 850 and this whole will be divided by 80 and this answer will be correction to 80 plus 540 plus 770 plus 1430 plus 1050 plus 850 and this will be divided by 80 and this is equal to 61.5 this will be mean 61.5 will be answer kilograms for four marks now third part two boys are chosen at random from those with a mass greater than 70 kg find the probability that one of them has a mass greater than 70 kg and the other has a mass of 80 kg or less so 70 uh, greater than 80 kg will be greater than 80 kg will be this one and less than less than the second one is 80 or less 80 or less will be uh, and the other has a mass of 80 kilogram so we are choosing greater than 70 so other less will be 14 so for first boy to be chosen is 10 out of 24 and one is gone so the second one will be 14 out of 23 and this can be and uh, like sequence or the second sequence can be uh, 14 out of First, we will choose this, and the second, we will choose this. So, these two options we can cover by just multiplying it by 2, and we will be getting answer as 2 into correction will be 10 over 24, and when this will be multiplied by 14 over 23, bracket close, and this will be. 35 over 69 35 over 69 will be the option and this will be the answer 35 over 69 three marks hopefully you understood this now question number four question number four is algebraic equation provided we have to just simplify this and to simplify this uh, we can shift six to the other side so it will be basically we have to find the value of x so we'll open the bracket so it will be 42 6 7s are 42 minus 6 into 2 will be 12 so 12x is equal to 3x minus 8 3x minus 8 now we can shift this 12 minus 12x to other side so it will be 3x plus 12x and minus 8 we can shift to the side so it will be 42 plus 8 
so we can write this on the side so it will be 15 x is equal to uh, 50 and x will be equal to 50 divided by 15 and 50 50 divided by 15 is given as 3.3 re recurring or we can write this as 10 over 3 by cancelling and it will be 3 whole 1 by 3 as a mixed number so this will be our final answer for three marks now um, second part algebraic fraction we have to simplify for that one we can cross multiply so 2x into 3 will be 6x is equal to 2 into x minus 5 so 6x is equal to 2x minus 10 opening brackets 2x we can shift to the other side so it will be 6x minus 2x is equal to minus 10 so 4x is equal to minus 10 and this implies x will be equal to minus 10 over 4 which is equal to minus 2.5 so answer will be minus 2.5 for 3 marks hopefully you understood this now they are saying b part factorize completely we have to factorize this and we can take 2 common and nothing else can be taken as common so it will be x squared minus 144y squared now we know the formula a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b into a minus b this formula will be applying and we can first rewrite this as x squared minus this will be 12 y squared now this is our a squared and a squared minus b squared and we can apply formula this will be x plus 12y and into x minus 12y this will be our final answer which we can write over here this will be x minus 12y and this is the final answer for three marks now this is algebraic expression which we need to factorize and to factorize these type of expressions we are using calculator mode 53 but keep in mind you have to provide the complete working because this is two mark question you have to provide working also so it will be coefficient of x here is 5 coefficient of x is 17 and constant value is minus 40 and these will be your factors 8 by 5 and minus 5 so 8 by 5 and 8 by 5 and minus 5 so these are the factors you can check 8 by 5 and minus 5 and now what we'll be doing we will be changing sign and utilizing this first we'll use this so it will be i'll keep cap i'll give the intermediate step later so denominator we can write 5x and minus 8 and when we use this it will be x plus Five and intermediate step I will copy this 5x over here and this whole thing inside the bracket x plus 5 then minus 8 minus 8 and this whole thing we can write here x plus 5 and this will be your intermediate step and this will be your answer and nobody will be deducting your marks this is the complete working which we can provide this is done now we can move to the next uh, c part and c part is saying solve this you must show all your working and give your answer correct to two decimal places so when they are saying give your answer in two decimal places you should get hint that your answer will be in decimal places that you will have to reduce to two decimal places so in case of decimal answers we are using quadratic formula so it means that this is a hint for us that we'll have to use quadratic formula so so that we will not be in trouble so x cubed plus four i'm copying the question and this is the question which we have copied and we can cancel these two after cancellation we can write 4x squared minus 17 x minus 17 sorry for that so minus 17 x and plus 9 is equal to 0 now a is equal to 4 quadratic formula i'm going to apply and my b is equal to minus 17 and c is equal to 9 and the quadratic formula is what x is equal to minus b plus minus b squared 
minus 4ac over 2a and always replace values in quadratic formula in brackets so minus a minus b like this one and plus minus b squared mean minus 17 squared so many students are doing mistake you'll have to write like this one so b square minus 4 a c a will be 4 and c will be 9 over 2 a and 2 a value is 4 and this one we can calculate first we'll use plus sign and then we'll be using minus sign so minus in brackets minus 17 uh, and the root of this will be plus we missed so plus and root of uh, in brackets minus 17 and squared and minus 4 in brackets 4 and then in brackets 9 and over divided by will be 8 and this will be equal to this one 3.63 up to 2 dp so x1 will be equal to 3. Uh, 6 3 this will be plus and x2 will be equal to with the minus sign we can we can change minus sign this one and this will be resulting to 0 0.6198 0 0.6198 and up to 2 dp this answer will be 3.63 and 0 0.62 this is five mark question it's very easy straightforward question which we can solve easily so question number five question number five is circle theorem and diagram is not to scale a part a b c d are points in the circle o is the center a b c d and angle COD is 124 and angle BCO is 35. This is 35. Work out the angle C, B, and D. So this angle will be half of this angle. Why? Because angle at the circumference will be half of the angle at the center. So we can write this as 62 will be our answer. And they are saying give a geometrical reason for your answer. So we'll, you will have to write the rule also. So it will be 62 degrees and we will write angle at circumference is half of the angle at center. Or you can write an angle at the center is twice that of the circumference so both ways it's correct so this is a two more question and second part it is saying work out angle BAD give a geometrical reason for each step of your working BAD 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 will be this angle and what first of all we will consider we will consider this triangle and in this triangle in this triangle uh, OD's radius this side will be equal to this side so it means this angle is equal to this angle so we can write um, so this these two angles will be equal and this angle we can write 180 minus uh, 180 minus 124 divided by 2 and this will be equal to 180 minus 124 and divided by 2 will be equal to 28 so this angle will be 28 degrees now if this angle is 28 this will also be 28 so this complete angle will be 35 plus 28 so 35 plus 28 will be 63 so 63 and opposite angle in cyclic quadrilateral are adding up to 180 degrees so this angle will be 
180 minus 63 which will be equal to 117 degrees we have provided working uh, over here and we can write basically this one even you can write that working over here 180 so angle OCD you can write angle OCD is equal to 180 minus the same thing which we have written over here minus 120 over uh, 124 divided by 2 is equal to well we calculated as 28 and this is basically uh, isosceles triangle isosceles triangle we can write this and then we can write angle BAD will be equal to 117 so 117 degrees and the reason will be what opposite angle uh, of a cyclic quadrilateral so opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral add up to up to 180 degrees this is four mark question which is done now we can move to this uh, question uh, same question b part and this is saying circle theorem and not to scale drawing pqrs are points on the circle p q r and s uh, q s is diameter and p r s is 42 this one is 42 and p q is equal to 5.9 centimeter calculate the circumference of the uh, circle so basically we require the radius and to find the radius uh, we can understand this is 42 so this top angle will also be 42 degrees and we are provided with this one now we can consider this triangle we can consider and in this triangle uh, we can take opposite over this is our opposite opposite over hypotenuse so we can write sp over sq this will be equal to uh, not sp pq not opposite we'll be taking adjacent basically so adjacent ad adjacent will be this one so it will be pq pq over sq which will be equal to cos of uh, 42 degrees and that is in triangle uh, s p q and we are basically now solving this p q is 5.9 5.9 over s q is equal to cos of 42 degrees so s q will be equal to 5.9 cos of 42 degrees and this will be equal to degrees I will use. so this will be 5.9 into cos of 42 and this is resulting to 4.38 so it is uh, basically 4.38 we have done mistake it should be divided by sq is equal to 5.9 over cos of 42 degrees and this will be basically division so 5.9 divided by cos of 42 and this will be giving us 7.939 7.939 or we can write 7.94 so 7.94 is the diameter so oq will be the radius o oq will be equal to 7.94 divided by 2 and this one divided by 2 will be giving us 3.97 so rounded to 2 dp 3.97 and now we can find the circumference it will be equal to 2 pi r and which is equal to 2 pi into 3.97 which we can find so 2 into pi 
into r is 3.97 and this will be resulting to 24.94 24.94 this will be centimeters 24.94 this will be final answer for five marks hopefully you understood this question number six the table shows some values for this uh, equation x is not equal to zero given that uh, uh, given correct to one decimal place and table of values is provided a part one we have to complete the table so to complete table easily what we will be doing will be typing the equation and this is the ECS technique which you can use x squared minus this will be three over this will be 2x and now you can calculate for minus 3 calculate for minus 3 will be equal to 9.5 so we can write here 9.5 and for minus 2 calculate for minus 2 and this will give us uh, 4.75 or we can write 4.8 and then because all other rest of the values are up to 1 dp so i rounded this also to 1 dp now uh, calculate for 3 calculate for x is equal to 3 this will give us 8.5 so it would be 8.5 over here now the table of values we are done with and this was three mark question which we have easily done hopefully you like this technique then second part on the grid Draw the graph of this one for x from minus 3 to minus 0 0.2 and this range. So these values, table of values, we have to show basically in, uh, in this uh, given grid. So this one will be first values minus 3 and 9.5. Minus 3 and 9.5. Minus 3 and 9.5 we can indicate over here the second value is minus 2 and 4.8 minus 2 and 4.8 will be this point and third value is minus 1 and 2.5 minus 1 and 2.5 is this point and next value is minus 0 0.5 and 3.3 3.3 .3. 3 .3 3 .3 will be this point we can write this as 3.3 .3. and next is what next value is minus 0 0.2 and 7.5 minus uh, 0 0.2 and uh, 7.5 7.5 will be this point we have indicated all the points and uh, all the negative sides of values of x now positive side of x so 0 0.2 and minus 7.5 0 0.2 and minus 7.5 will be this one and the second value is 0 0.5 and minus 2.8 minus 2.8 will be this value and 1 and minus 0 0.5 1 and minus 0. 5 will be almost this position and then 2 and 3.3 2 and 3.3 3 will be this point and 3 and 8.5 so 3 and 8.5 will be this indication so we are done with the with the points which we have indicated now we have to plot the graph and our target will be to draw smoother graph as much as we can draw smoother graph so we are done with this section and we can if you want we can rectify also a little and now we can 
draw this side as well and you will have to basically practice for a smoother curve and this will be like this one so almost we are uh, done this smoother curve next is b part by drawing by drawing a suitable straight line the grid solve this equation and this one so what we can do we can figure out this portion is what this portion is basically uh, y so if we check our y is this one this one is the same so we can write y is equal to uh, minus 2x plus 24 over 5 and 24 over 5 is y intercept which is uh, 24 over 5 is decimal values 4.8 uh, which is equal to so we can write 24 over 5 is equal to 4.8 this will be our y intercept so we'll have to reach there at y intercept which is 4.8 and 4.8 point is this one so our line is passing through this point and the gradient is what gradient is this is the gradient which is minus 2 so m value is equal to minus 2 we can write minus 2 over 1 and we will be checking for rise over run so minus 2 will be one point we can take them for this one will be one and minus two will be up to this one so a uh, minus two and one to the right so this one to the right will reach over here hopefully you are understanding how we reach this point i'm erasing this working so we got this point and now we have to draw the line and straight line will be intersecting the curve at different places and we can draw this line this is uh, basically i'll have to erase this again and this will be the okay so this will be our line and if we extend this a little so this will be the line which we have drawn and we can check for the references and this reference will be um, if we check this reference this will be over here this one will be the reference and from the from this point also we can check the reference this one and these will be basically the two values which we can mention and these two values will be what this will be uh, zero point minus zero point three this value we can write it as minus zero point three and this value we can write uh, 1.5 and 4 so roughly we are providing these values so our answer will be over here and that will be minus 0 0.3 and 1.54 and this was for mark question which we have done uh, now c part c part says the solutions of the equation this are also the solutions of the equation of this one where a b c are the integers and find the value of a b c so basically our target is what our target is to write this equation in this format that's all we will automatically get a b c values so now what we can do we can rewrite this equation we'll have to get rid of denominator so x squared minus 3 over 2x is equal to 24 over 5 minus 2x minus 2x now to get rid of this denominator we'll multiply everything by 5 so we'll get 5x squared minus 3 over 2x this will be 15 because we are multiplying by 5 so this 5 will be cancelled so only 24 minus this will be 10x 
Now to get rid of this denominator, we will multiply by 2x and we will get what? We will get 10x cubed minus this will be only 15 because 2 denominator 2x will be cancelled and this will be 48x and this will be 20x squared. That's all. Now what we have to do? We have to rearrange. So 10x squared and plus 20x squared minus 48x and minus 15 is equal to 0. And now if we compare this with this one, we will get A is equal to 10. We can write properly 10. B is equal to 20. C is equal to minus 48. You can see this is four mark question which we had done very easily. And if you adopt this technique by eliminating or removing the decimal, getting rid of the denominator, basically that will be very nice and easy technique. So 7a question, 7a part is uh, grid is provided. They are saying on the grid, draw the image of a shape A after enlargement scale factor 2. Center of enlargement is 0, 1. So, zero, 0, 1 will be the center of enlargement. We can indicate 0, 1 will be this one, and we have to enlarge this A, and we will be drawing one line to the vertex of this one, and the second line will be y axis, which we will be drawing like this, and now the third line we can draw passing through accurately through this vertex and this will be the third line now we can see this width is one unit so uh, extended will be two units and uh, this height is three units so enlarged will be having six units so we can check this will be one, two, three, four, five, and six units. So this is how we reached these two points and two units. One point will be this one. And second point will be second point will be on this side. We can take uh, this is three units, so we can take six units, so it will be uh, basically 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 units so we can take this point and now we can join the points to get the shape and this will be our shape and hopefully you are understanding transformation is very easy if you uh, follow the rules and follow the techniques so this will be our drawing and i'm just indicating for your understanding it's not required for uh, answer to question this is our shape hopefully you are understanding this is our shape which we have shaded but shading is not required for example now b part uh, the shape A after reflection, the line Y is equal to X minus 1. So Y is equal to X minus 1 is indicating that uh, Y intercept is minus 1. So line is passing through this. And M gradient is 1. Gradient is equal to 1. We can write 1 over 1. So rise is 1 and run is 1. So 1 unit up and 1 unit to the right. So we'll reach over here and we can draw this uh, line. And we now we have to reflect in this line and to reflect this in this line shape A we need to reflect. So these will be the points basically if you check our drawing will be reflecting to this and we can draw this drawing easily. This is basically uh, no, not this one, we are doing a mistake. This should be over here. Yes. Now this will be perfect. And this is the drawing which we have to complete. This is basically mirror transformation or reflection of the drawing which we have uh, already done. So, next C part, describe the second part basically. Uh, describe fully the single transformation that maps A onto B. 
or b is this one so a on to b uh, size if you check size is same just it is rotated and rotated about uh, rotated about basically we'll have to find the center and okay so if we draw uh, this one so this is 90 degree rotation anti clockwise 90 degree rotation and center is origin or zero zero so we will write rotation 90 degree anti clockwise and origin is this one so we are done with this b part b part is vectors question and diagram is provided which is not to scale abc is a trapezium and o is the origin m is the midpoint m is the midpoint o is the origin o is equal to p o q is e o c is equal to q and o a is equal to o a o a o a is equal to 2 cb okay so double of cb so it means cb is half of o a so we can write this as uh, p by 2 or 1 by 2 p or half p now uh, what is our task our task is find in terms of p and q the positive vector position vector sorry position vector of m give your answer in simplest form so for the position vector if we draw position vector of m position vector of m is basically this one so for the position vector of m uh, we can take this root and for this root uh, we have p but we require a m so to find a m we will find a b and a b will be a b will be equal to a b will be equal to we will take for a b we will be taking this root and this one so it will be uh, p minus p plus q and plus p by 2 this will be our a b which we can write rewrite it as minus 1 by 2 p plus q this will be our a b and now I will erase the root indication. Now this is our AB, but we don't require AB, we require AM. So AM will be half of this, half of minus 1 by 2P plus Q. And this one, uh, now we have uh, we, position vector is required. Position vector will be OM. So OM will be what? OM will be OA plus a m and we have o a which is p and we have a m which is this one so we we'll write this 1 by 2 into minus 1 by 2 p plus q and now we can simplify this will be p plus not plus it should be minus and 1 by 4 p and plus 1 by 2 q and this will be 3 by 4 p plus 1 by 2 q which we can Provide over here 3 by 4 p plus 1 by 2 q 3 marks very easy straightforward question which we are done now we can move to the functions question functions question a part is this one f of x is given we have to find x when f of x is equal to minus 5 so f of x is 3 minus 5 x is equal to minus 5 so 5x will be equal to 3 plus 5 which is equal to 8 so x will be equal to 8 by 5 8 by 5 which is equal to 8 over 8 over 5 will be equal to 1.6 so 1.6 will be answer for two marks now we have to find f inverse of x to find f inverse of x we can write y is equal to 3 minus 5x now we have to make x as subject 
so our 5x will be equal to uh, 3 minus y and x will be equal to 3 minus y over minus uh, 3 minus 5 uh, over basically it will be 5 so now we can swap x and y so y will be basically f inverse f inverse of x will be equal to 3 minus x over 5 3 minus x over 5 will be our final answer for this two mark question which is done now b part g of x g of x is equal to uh, 18 minus 3x minus x squared write g of x in the form so this is basically completing square uh, shape so we will be rewriting first i write minus x squared and minus 3x plus 18 and now we will take this minus 1 common and minus 1 after ma taking minus 1 common inside will be x squared plus 3x and this tail portion i'll not disturb i'll copy as it is now we can complete square and this will be uh, x and this is copy sign whatever sign here we are copying and half of this which is 1.5 half of 3 will be 1.5 this will be squared and minus this sign is always minus 1.5 square i'm explaining the technique also how we are uh, taking completing square so this one after this we will be just opening this uh, bracket so it will be minus uh, x plus 1.5 squared and minus into minus plus so 1.5 squared will be what 1.5 squared is equal to 2.25 2.25 plus 18 so this will be adding up to 20.25 so we can write this first 20.25 and minus x plus 1.5 squared or uh, a plus x so we'll re uh, shuffle this as 20.25 and minus the 1.5 plus x squared so our uh, values are what a b value is basically b value is equal to 20.25 and a value will be 1.5 and this is basically our uh, final answer which we are supposed to solve and now they are saying second part sketch the graph of y is equal to g, x, g of x for your sketch show the coordinates of the turning point so coordinates of the turning point are also required we will be uh, we will be taking this equation uh, which we have written over here which is y in completing square format so we'll take in completing square format which is basically y is equal to 20.25 minus this will be 1.5 plus x squared now we will be uh, taking the coordinates minus of this value so minus 1.5 and this will be minus we are writing minus a and b this is basically our maximum or minimum point now or you can say turning point so this will be 20.25 this will be our turning point so minus 1.5 if we are taking like for example minus 1.5 on this side minus 1.5 and the turning point will be 20 so 20 we can take like for example over here so this will be our turning point and we can sketch the quadratic graph like this one and this side will be like this one and 1.3 one if we if we take like x is equal to 0 x is equal to basically y is equal to 0 we can find 
like uh, if we take x is equal to 0 y will be what this is our equation so y is equal to 18 minus 3x minus x squared and at at y x is x will be equal to 0 so y will be equal to 18 in this equation we replaced x is equal to 0 so this point will be 0 and 18 and this point will be minus 1.5 and 20.25 and this is basically the reference which we can show like this and these two points which are uh, x intercepts are required and that one we can solve minus x squared minus 3x plus 18 is equal to 0 so we can write x squared plus 3x minus 18 is equal to 0 and if we solve it basically with mode uh, mode 5 3 and x squared is 1 x is the coefficient of x is 3 and minus 18 is the constant value we'll get 3 and minus 6 so x minus 3 and x plus 6 these will be the factors so this implies x is equal to 3 and x is equal to minus 6 these two will be the two x intercepts so coordinates of this point will be 3 and 0 and this will be minus 6 and 0 and this is our uh, complete drawing for three marks which we have provided everything hopefully you understood this as well now part three they are saying find the equation of the tangent to the graph this one at x is equal to four that is the derivative dy over dx derivative of this given equation will be what constant will be zero minus three will be the derivative minus three x and minus two x will be the derivative of this one and now at dy by dx at x is equal to 4 will be minus 3 minus 2 into 4 which will be 8 and minus 11 and this will be uh, give your answer in the form y is equal to mx plus c so the point which we will be using will be what at x is equal to 4 at x is equal to 4 y will be equal to what in the same equation 18 minus 3x minus this equation this equation uh, x squared we will be replacing x is equal to 4 so y is equal to 18 minus 3 into 4 will be 12 and minus 4 square will be uh, 16 and this will be equal to 18 minus 12 minus 16 is equal to minus 10 so y value will be minus 10 our point will be 4 and minus 10 we'll be using this point and the gradient which is minus 11 and we'll be writing equation equation of line in point slope form y minus basically y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 and we will be writing y minus this y value minus 10 and is equal to gradient which is minus 11 into x minus x1 which is 4 so y will be equal to minus 11 x and plus 44 and minus 10 and this will be equal to y is equal to minus 11 x and plus this will be 34 and this will be the equation which is required and keep in mind this is six marks question huge marks which we are done hopefully you understood this question number nine a part diagram is not to scale the rectangle has parameter 20 find the value of x and parameter formula we will be applying parameter is equal to 2 into we are adding length and width so x plus x plus 3 which is equal to uh, 20 which is provided over here so this will be uh, 2 we can shift to other side so 2x plus 3 is equal to 10 and 2x is equal to 7 so x is equal to 7 by 2 which is equal to 3.5 so 3.5 centimeters this will be our final answer if units are not mentioned with the answer you'll have to write those units also so b part 
diagram is not to scale the rhombus has a perimeter 20 centimeter angle y is obtuse this angle is obtuse means more than 90 degree and less than 180 so m is the point midpoint m is the midpoint of one of the sides find the value of y so perimeter is 20 perimeter is 20 means what 20 divided by 4 so we if we write a b c d so c d will be equal to 20 divided by 4 which is equal to 5 centimeters so dc will be equal to dm sorry dm will be equal to uh, 5 by 2 which is equal to 2.5 centimeters so we got this measurement as 2.5 centimeters and now we can apply uh, sign rule how we can apply sign rule because we have this side as 5 centimeter already this side is 5 centimeter this side is 5 centimeter so in this triangle in which triangle in this triangle we will be applying sign rule and this one 2.5 so we will write in triangle adm uh, 2.5 over sine of 20 will be equal to um, basically 5 over we can find angle dme or emd so sine of amd and we can find basically this angle and then third angle can be find, found so sine amd is equal to 5 sine of 20 divided by 2.5 and this will be equal to 5 sine of 20 divided by 2.5 is given as this one but we have to take sine inverse also so we'll take sine inverse of 5 sine of 20 divided by 2.5 and this will be equal to basically uh, we can take shift sine of answer and this will be equal to 43.16 so 43.16 degrees is which angle is this angle 43.16 now y will be equal to what y will be equal to 180 minus one angle which is 20 and the other angle is 43.16 and this will give us the y value and this will be 180 minus in brackets 20 plus 43.16 and this will result into uh, 116.84 116.884 this will be final answer for this five marks question which we are done now uh, C part sector is provided which is not to scale the diagram is not to scale the sector of a circle has radius R this is R uh, and perimeter is 20 find the value of Z perimeter is 20 so uh, if we consider basically this side is equal to this side because both are radius so we can find this angle and this angle and 180 minus uh, 180 180 minus this will be 40 will be equal to 140 and 140 divided by 2 is equal to 70 degrees so this is 70 degrees this is also 70 degrees and now we can find basically the perimeter uh, we we require this length first of all we require this uh, length of the arc this one so to find this we will be applying the formula this will be equal to perimeter will be equal to what this will be arc length uh, which is this one l so we can write l plus uh, 2r r plus r will be 2r so this is also r so r plus r will be 2r and arc length is what arc length is 
theta over 360 into 2 pi r so 2 pi r right and plus 2 r and this is given as 20 so we can uh, write 40 over 360 because angle is 40 so 2 pi r plus 2 r is equal to 20 degree now we can take r common from these two first we will cancel this zero is cancelled two twos are four and two eighteen so two ones are and two nines are so it will be one by nine when it will be multiplied by two it will be two by nine pi and plus two and r is taken common and this is equal to 20 so r will be equal to 20 divided by 2 by 9 pi plus 2 and this will be our r value which we can find now this will be r value 20 divided by 2 over 9 we put brackets so 2 over 9 and this will be pi and plus 2 and bracket close and this will be equal to 7.4 17.41 is the value of r so this side is 7.41 and this side is also 7.41 now after this we will be uh, checking for basically uh, value of z is required z is uh, this length is required so we have now these two lengths this one and this one so we can apply sine rule so z over sine of 40 we can write z over sine of 40 is equal to 7.41 over sine of 70 and z will be equal to 7.41 into sine of 40 divided by sine of 70 degrees and this will be equal to uh, fraction 7 point basically yes 7.41 and sine of 40 and divided by sine of 70 and this will be equal to 5.068 5.068 and the rounded answer up to 1 dp will be 5.07 and this was 6 marks question which we are done we are done with the paper also hopefully you understood each and everything don't forget forget to uh, subscribe the channel and also press bell icon so that you will be getting notification for incoming videos uh, recommend this channel to your friends and class fellows also introduce this channel to your respective teachers thank you very much for watching take care bye